Greetings Grapple fans, and welcome back to an action-packed episode of North Beverage Regional Wrestling. I am your host, John Johnson. Now, last time that I saw you, we saw a fantastic video by the new up-and-coming superstar to North Beverage Regional Wrestling, L. Liger. Now, L. Liger's debut video has caused quite the stir in the locker room of North Bedfordshire Regional Wrestling and one of our more exciting superstars has issued a challenge. Take it away. Kip. 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 That's all you hear. That's what the people want. The high flyer. The high flyer that comes to North Bedfordshire Regional Wrestling yet to make his debut. And then I hear promos. I hear the name El Liger being mentioned. Put the two of us together, make it happen. El Liger, sign that contract. The two best high flyers in the business rocking up in North Bedfordshire. There can be only one and I know Liger is gonna be me. So give me the honor, give me the respect, and I'll see you in the ring. As you've just seen, boys and girls, we will find out next week whether or not El Liger will accept the challenge given to him by Kip Sanderson. Wow! I, for one, cannot wait to see if El Liger chooses to accept Kip Sanderson as his first opponent in North Bedfordshire Regional Wrestling. Now, we go exclusively to the northeast side of Bedford, where we talk to a very solemn Gary Goals. Gary! Why so glum? How we like, man, of North Bedfordshire Regional Wrestling. This week should have been the greatest week in my life. Mike Ashley is finally setting up from Newcastle Lake and he's leaving. He's leaving on a jet plane, man. And we're about to become the richest football team in the world. And it also sparks the 10 year anniversary of when we last, well, when we first got really get into the championship, man. And I was going to watch the DVD like, to cheer me up, but all my DVDs have gone. All my Newcastle United DVDs. My Alan Shearer DVDs, my season review from 04, 05, 06, 07, 08, 09, 010, 011, 012, all gone. I don't even know, man. The official history DVD, which is four hours long, gone, gone out of my life. And it was replaced with a DVD from the cup final from the 70s between Sunderland and Leeds. When they won the FA Cup, I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch that at all. I just, I just feel lost without my DVDs. I don't feel like I can score a goal, let alone a three count. I just, I'm just not feeling it. Sorry, JJ. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that, Gary. Maybe your current enemy, Rene Beret, might have something to say about it. Bonjour, ça va? <laughs> René Barré here, bringing to you all of the French glory. Now, I hope none of you had a lovely St. George's Day yesterday. I spent the day looking over some historical documents. <laughs> Ophelia, I found these at the back of some bin. Some Newcastle United DVDs. Trash. Rubbish. Crap. Not good. And what a poser he is. Claims to be the greatest striker of all time. Didier Deschamps was the better player. Holy. Anyone that's actually won anything. <laughs> Gary Goals, I am challenging you to a match. Not just any match, though. A match to claim back some of your DVDs 
a DVD on a pole match at Spring Fling. I help you accept the challenge or your DVDs will go kapoost. <laughs> Au revoir. Sickening, just absolutely sickening. In the wake of one of the greatest days in Gary Goles' life, René Beret, the slimy Frenchman that he is, has stolen some of Gary Goles' Newcastle DVDs, some of his prized possessions. Absolutely terrible. I hope that Gary Goles is watching this and will accept the challenge at Spring Fling. North Bedfordshire wrestling fans, yeah, a number of North Bedfordshire stars will be appearing at the Penguin Cafe, yeah, to get their hands on the new Big Penguin breakfast, yeah, with eggs, bacon, hash browns, toast, and beans, yeah, for our Eat with the Wrestlers event, uh, come on down and tell them that the Macho Man sent ya, oh yeah. Too bad. Oh, the Black Country Butcher. I got my metal teeth put in there. Oh, I'm gonna challenge you to the Clapham Street Fight. And guess what? I'm gonna get my ten pounds of flesh in my neck. Down. Oh, look pretty. <laughs> no doubt about it, the black country butcher means business. Can we go now to Chad Too Bad for his response? to the butcher's comments and whether or not he's willing to give up 10 pounds of flesh. Chad, what do you have to say? <sighs> Thanks for the intro, JJ. Now, the butcher is coming after me again. Butcher, I'm gonna say this and say this only once. You don't like me, cause I'm better than you. You don't like me, because I'm good looking, unlike you. And you especially don't like me because I've got my front teeth. Ugh. Now you're challenging me, Chad, too bad, to a 10 pounds of flesh match, whatever that is. I'll tell you now, sunshine, Chad accepts. That's right, Chad, too bad, accepts your 10 pounds of flesh match. I'll see you at spring yeah, keep rocking. Yeah. Bill Ding is not a particularly popular person in the North Bedfordshire Regional Wrestling, especially since a few of the competitors from the Easter Parade over the Tarboro Battle Royale have come out and accused him of cheating. We're here now from another superstar, The Carpenter, and how he feels about Bill Ding going forward. Building. Let me make one thing really clear. I built my career on my hard work. I built my career facing men, not attacking them in a seven man battle royal while their back is turned. So that sham of your number one contendership, put it on the line. Give it to me, Bill. Because you know, deep down, in your heart of hearts, you can't beat me. And no matter how much cheering you, you get from those cretins out in the crowd, you can't beat me. Put it on the line, Bill. Put your number one contendership on the line. And let's see, once and for all, the carpenter or Bill Ding, who will be facing the champion next. 
professional wrestling fans, our local renegade pod owner financier Maxwell Riches has unfortunately brought himself some airtime. So here now is a message from Mr. Riches. Some say I've got money. I might even have too much money. So much money, however, that I can make this type of challenge. A 10,000 pound challenge. Opening up to anybody in North Bedfordshire Regional Wrestling. Except my challenge, you might be able to win 10,000 pounds. <laughs> Wow, 10,000 pounds, a challenge given by Mr. Riches. If you won that type of money, you'd never have to work another day in your life. I wonder now who, who in the North Beverture Regional Wrestling Locker Room will take him up on that type of offer. Now, the final part of this week's episode, we have our exclusive interview with the Phantom Head Teacher. Can we find out whether or not we get to the bottom of his obsession with Chester Black? Hello, regional wrestling fans. The Phantom Head Teacher here. I know during quarantine, I know where you are and what work you should be doing. Always remember, I'm always there. Always there. Just ask Chester Black that. I'm always going to be there. In year nine, you flunked your SATs. In year 11, you failed maths and had to resit it at sixth form. You came out of sixth form with two A's and a B. You'll be big in media studies, funnily enough. You went to Worcester Uni and you got your degree there before becoming a wrestler. Now you're all wondering at home, who is behind the mask? Who is the phantom behind this mask? You don't need to know that now. Chester doesn't need to know that now. I'm always with him and always shall be with him. The rest of you will just have to wait, like him, at Spring Fling. I have no interest in his title. I never did. But his attention shouldn't be on me now. It should be on building, or even the carpenter. But please, rest assured, I'll be at Spring Fling. And the whole world will know. The Phantom Head Teacher really and truly is. <laughs>